What is up? My name is Garrett at Yoker on Twitter, Y O O G R R T T, Instagram as well. Now, in rotation on those two platforms as well. As well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today, we are on the quest for um, basically, we're just trying to catch up. Uh, I haven't really been doing my diligence of, uh, you know, reviewing music and being active on here for good reason you will know very shortly um, a lot of cool stuff coming soon but i figured uh with this xxl freshman freestyles um in full effect this week might as well jump in there start with those um we're gonna be reacting to one two three four five um i've seen most of them except for mulattoes but um might as well give you guys my full thought so this xxl freshman list is is you know it's it's good it's good it's it's fine it's it's very safe, and I think a lot of people have been pointing that out as far as when you look at what XXL was, as far as the history, the lineage, the foolproofness. Like, you just look at all the stars they've called out early times um, before it felt like there was this, like, regulation that um, you could not be featured on the XXL list if you were... Um, someone who has released a debut album because um, that usually that meant that you were signed back when like mixtapes were thriving on like Dat Piff and uh, even into the SoundCloud area. Um, but now that we've kind of seen streaming kind of just destroy SoundCloud and record labels really kind of take back the power more so than ever um, in a lot of ways. Uh, so let's load down the list real quick. We got 24K Golden. We got Fivo Foreign or fi fi Fabio, Fabio Foreign, um, Mulatto, Rod Wave, Cowboy, Polo G, and Ali Choppa, Lil Keed, um, Chica, Lil TJ, Baby Keem, and Jack Harlow. So as I was saying, when you look at the list from the past, you would you would kind of say like, hey. Most of these people have never released albums before. We're just calling them out. This is your upcoming signers or uh, newly signed people to these labels. And uh, their debut album is going to be very important. And you should take a fine, fine, fine look at them. Uh, and they did that over and over for years. Um, but now when you look at it, a lot of these people are already signed. A lot of these people are already being pushed by a label. Have a good fan base. Um, they sell records as far as, you know, debuting. Some of them, you know, have debuted with... 70 90 thousand oh, first week uh selling a lot of them are billboard charting jack harlow himself has had a number one or number two hit single so far uh for the past few weeks and um you know a bunch of them have just charted and done very well for themselves so when you look at it that way they're not really so much leaning into the hey we're pointing out uh these new people that you may not hear of but will be hearing of in the future it's more like this is who's popping right now um uh, and you know that's a safe and easy way to get people to take a look at this so um i'm not going to be one of those people who sits here and just says like this is outrageous this isn't my xxl what are you doing uh hashtag canceled none of that bullshit but i will say it is interesting to switch up um and the the kind of grasp at saying relevant that xxl is kind of pulling but i do think that there would be something to say because the underground right now is still thriving is still doing a lot of cool stuff and there are a few people um you know that i think they could have could have highlighted and it would have been an interesting interesting list but no let's see what they have to offer now that we know exactly what's up the first one is nle choppa um let's check this one out Hey, one thing for sure, I ain't never been a runner. Hanging out the window, I was always gunning. Got a little feet work, then I start hunting. Take them out the game, I'ma kill all opponents. Even in the rain, I go drill, homie. Speaking on my name, bitch, you know I don't condone me. Just hit the stain, left no blood up on me. Rock on the sleeve, we ain't doing no pieces and treaties. We want that little bitch underneath. Draco ain't reach, if he reaching, I'm teaching. I'm shooting, he leaking until it deceased. Playing for keys, so I'm running with thieves. Still do a drill while I'm bumping Keith. Tell him come see, but he know where it be. Whole lot of Chris when he pull in the street. Snort you a perky, you think you a killer, I win. Did a drip out, so with my nigga. Hunter some shots when I walk him down. Day before I said that I was gonna overkill him. Bold nigga, stand over him and then I watch his soul shrivel. So many dirty guns up in the river. I wanna go get him, but I got some bigger. Got so many guns, I ain't got a bar none. Just got a drink, but I'm waiting on the drum. Crib, but I move like a snake and a condo. Play my role, then I tell him to run it. Find a location, you know that we on it. See him escaping, I'm chasing the slumping them. Whole lot of murders, we been there and done it. We killing these niggas like we was Corona. 
Hey, I brought my stick into this fight. I feel like something wasn't right. Gripping tight, move wrong, move funny, take his life. That's on sight. Tombstone, his new home, new pipe. We get him dead by the end of the night. So that was better than what I was expecting. I'm not going to lie. His music is, uh, it's good. It's just not something that I usually am pumping. Um, but I do respect what Anneli Choppa does. And that demonstration of just when he gets in those flows and he his ability to just continuously stay like uh, keeping it going, but also building it up and ramping it up and just like this up and down of, of just like the way that he uses his vocals, always respect it. And the XXL format, um, without a beat and I was kind of worried if you will but nah he fucking killed that shit um, it, but even when he stumbled a little bit at the end and kept but he caught it and then kept it going and that just shows that like once he just gets in that pocket he'll stay in it and non-stop and that's like a pretty fucking impressive talent wouldn't be surprised if this guy just freestyles all his songs um, and Ali Choppa liking it man um, next up is Polo G Summertime out there slaving, we exhausted from the heat. Better get a ride home, cause ain't no walking when it's beef. They only wanna know a story when they chalk them in the street. Very usual downside when that coffin getting deep. 25, that's just an age that we don't often get to see. Told bro to stay on point, cause they'll knock them off to get to me. Stuck in my gangster ways, I'm living lawless and discreet. Ain't go to see a therapist, I just start talking to them beasts. I'm just trying to be that baller that my dog and get to be. I got bigger dreams, cause I ain't doing all this shit for me. Was always confident, they tried to tell me that I couldn't brag. Brown car box, that's where the money crack a cut stash. On the west side, I'm trying to hustle for a little cash Angel on my shoulder can't convince me that I shouldn't spaz Disrespectful niggas get a zipper and a foot tag Like a track race, that gun went off and then they took ass Mama disappointed, my mistakes just made her look bad Always finding something to get into with my crook ass Then I beat the odds cause I could come up with a hook fast P-O-L-O-G, that's just a name that you can't look past I'm going number one for all the times that we was put last See, I like, I like Polo G Cause he does fall in that same um flow He's, he has a great flow but there's always a good melody behind it and uh this format does still allow him to kind of thrive and do his thing and show off his talents um polo g good ass uh good ass outing i mean all these are fine they're they're none of these guys like at least most of them are not going to be these super lyrical super uh rapidy rap rappers so the freestyle quote unquote that word can often just be them spitting verses or just you know going off but a lot of their songs are in a lot of ways heavily heavily complimented by the beats by the 808s by the ad libs so um, for them to be in this bare bones situation meaning Enelie Choppa and Polo G and still come out and have something that is fucking a good representation I like it man I'm, I'm, I'm behind it <coughs> Next up is Chica, who is actually probably the best example of what I was just saying as far as rapidy rap, lyrical, schmirical. Um, let's get into this. And she's someone who I didn't really know, but I, I was like, I feel like I've seen your face. I just saw a Netflix movie with her in it, um, as well as uh, she she's like had a few viral like clips go viral on Twitter, and I've seen those. So. Um, Clock strike ten, hundred twenty minutes to the party. Her tiny desk. Uh, concert is where you guys really need to go go peep her music because it is impressive to end. little mama thicker than the grip up on a pen type of ass to make a nigga want to run and tell a friend part of my french who we asking around who she i swear i gotta get her according to the homies and nobody ever met her but some niggas call her cindy and the others call her ella do you think that she be looking for a lady or a fella judging by the twinkle in her eye got me thinking she be down for whatever i done been around but i never seen a beauty like hers lordy them curves make a nigga get to stuttering and tripping on words no one sleeping nigga she been flocking to her like hers but she mugging i don't think she in the mood i'm Roll the and go and wait to make a move. Yeah, just shit, shit, shits on everybody. I bet. As far as like lyrical ass, real ass, quote unquote, writing and rapping, um, Chica is gonna be the best example that we're gonna find on this cover, and I'll stand by that uh, confidently. Um, I fuck with that man. Next up, probably my most anticipated and uh, most excited freshman look. Um, maybe Jack Harlow falls in there, but Baby Keem for sure. Not gonna, not gonna sit here and act like uh, I'm not super, super stoked to hear this. Um, let's fucking get it, baby Keem, baby. I don't go outside no more. I stay remote. Keep my spirit clean from all the demon folk. 
kiss my niece, then I make some green tea. Just close another deal before she fell asleep. That's meditation, hydration, both of do. That's good pussy, good books, good view. So what's the inside joke? What's the inside joke? You will never know. That's the Morse code. Felt so lost. Getting caught red-handed on spot. Thought I was good in them white case switches. My mama had me put in pin on box. Back when my Velcro straps was fading. Grandma's on the housing list, we grew impatient. Damned if the government stopped their payments. Hiding in the closet when CPS came in. Hey, I can't help but feel neglected. Changing up your schedule, your calendar, refreshing. Time passing, we move on, nobody says shit. So how I'm supposed to act when my morals weren't respected? And how you supposed to act when your feelings ain't protected? I'm cashing checks just to get some neck and some necklaces. So what's next? More turbulence? Praying on this plane. Success. Got a taste of it. Never was the same. I mean, that, like, black and white, like, feel, like, or just dark room with, like, the black background. Um, and the no beat is something that will always, I think, compliment Baby Keem and his style of, uh, of rap and music, which is um, pretty fucking collected. If you haven't heard Die For My Bitch, there's a review on this channel if you want to go check it out. But that album uh, from 2019 in particular is some of the best fucking work that I've heard in at least a few years. No joke. That, that album's really, 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 really impressive. So um, Ben looking forward to what Baby Keem is going to do next. And to see him on this cover is exactly what I wanted and exactly what we needed um, to make him release more music. That's really it. You know, that's the closest thing we've gotten to a new song. So I'm fucking, I'm fucking with it. I enjoyed it. Um, and I think he's going to kill the cypher and there's going to be a lot more baby Keem fans out there very soon. Um, and that's a good thing. That's a great thing actually. Um, last but not least, hopefully is a mulatto mulatto. Um, from what I understand, she's like 11 hip hop, um, star or something or no maybe not love and hip-hop but she she won some rap contest on like netflix maybe or or she run she won some some show where, where he, it, it was like american idol but for rapping and uh, yeah she she won that so she signed and uh this is the one where people are kind of like hey uh we hate when you you guys put people on that are easily called out to be like hey uh um what did uh what what who what did did you did the label pay for the, like it's just it, it becomes politics and it's unfortunate so hopefully um her talent is undeniable so let's see what the fuck cool cool, cool. um that was pretty cool i mean she's just fucking in your grill i mean she's already on the defense so so maybe maybe y'all should should chill if if, if anyone's still talking shit after that because i wasn't even anywhere near the worst freestyle that we're probably going to hear or have heard in the past. So, um, that was perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, maybe I should check out her music. She's a lot more aggressive than I was expecting. I was expecting more of like a, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe some melodies in there, but no, that was just spitting, spitting bars, spitting facts apparently. So, um, don't, don't, don't try her. Don't, don't, don't you fucking dare. But yeah, that's so far what we've seen from the XXL Freshman Freestyles. Um, I think the best is probably Chica, but Baby Keem, I'm going to be partial to that and say that that was my favorite. Um, and then, you know, NLE Choppa probably is right after that. Polo G and then Mulatto um, or Mulatto might actually could fall in over Polo G if we're being honest. Just personal taste because uh, I just felt personally attacked and I don't know how to feel about that. But there was nothing wrong with that and that was pretty good, so... Um, yeah, so far so good. Um, who do we got left? We got uh, Fabio, we got 24K Golden, um, Cowboy, Lil Keed, TJ, and Jack Harlow. Oh, and Rod Wave, yeah. So it looks like we got probably like two weeks of this. So let's stay tuned and keep an eye out for what's going on. Um, yeah, so far so good. 